Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. We are coming to you live from Rolling Loud. <laughs> <laughs> The Negro R&B edition. Um, Phelps, how are you? How's it feel to be here on site? Um, you know, I can't say it's calm. It's kind of jumping upstairs. I want to go up there personally. Erica Badu just got on stage. It's getting <laughs> crazy. Me and uh, Phelps just did shrooms and Dre is waiting patiently to get the fuck out of here. Um, it's a party upstairs and this is a black owned business kind of so. Voila, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> music loud smoke down here smell like turkey legs but <laughs> we down here you know just listening enjoying our time down in the Definitely basement going, you mean for sure just check for them thighs up there i know they up there i mean technically whose fault would this be exactly mm. Mm. As far as as far as what are these niggas allowed to have parties on these? I mean, we, it's a it's a Tuesday, ain't it? Nah, it's a Thursday. Thursday. I thought it was a secret what time what day we were recording, fellas. I threw we the don't, Tuesday. We off. don't even have a. You mean we ain't one of them? Well, you blew up the spot by saying that we don't have the right day. We, blew up we really the spot most times. We really don't have a day. We got like a range of days that we record for sure. Monday through Monday. Well, actually, the celebration is for Britney Griner being released from jail. Can we clap it up for Britney? Facts. Congratulations. Cold. I didn't really want to remove my arms from that. Traded in for uh, position. Liam Nielsen. Yeah, arms dealer, a real gangster motherfucker. You know what was crazy? When they when they do the little transfer, they give a hug to the, that gangster nigga. I'm like, don't nobody even dab Britney up. She and it like she got a cut like Dre. Like she chopped her dreads down and got a little curly fro now. It did kind of look like that. Like she cut her hair. But it could have been the ponytail. Her joints probably just look, you mean? She probably gonna burn the rubber off that strap tonight. It's been a while since she got to fuck her wife. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm happy to see her. Probably like six months ago or nine months ago, I said something really mean about Britney Griner and Dre cut it out. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I was pissed, but he was right. Because right after that, somebody else said something about her and they were pissed or something like that. Remember? Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. Can I say it now? No. Damn. Can I say close to it? How about I just test run it and then you'll cut it out? You don't have time? No. Fuck. Leave Brittany Griner alone. I'm not. I don't have anything against her. I just. She's been through a lot. Yes. Leave Welcome home, Britt. But One queen. Come back another. home, hit the pack. You feel me? The punishment did not fit. She definitely crime. about to get some pussy and some weed she tonight. She smoke some weed. But you know what I thought? <laughs> God forbid she's like really, really traumatized from that shit. Because we yeah, don't know what that girl seen. Yeah. And you know what else I thought about? That first interview going to be a bag. Who you think going to get it? Probably like a people or one or of something? them. Yeah, like Barbara somebody Walter's big still alive, old, them something like that. Bubba Walter still alive? Hey, your people might get it. Red Table Talk now, your folks. Uh, I don't think she's That's going your to people. That. I think if Oprah wanted to take it, that is always the top of the list. It's definitely a huge interview. Um, I'm not even into shit like that, but I would probably tune in. Um, you come here do the interview, shit. Oh, my Wouldn't God. Wouldn't that be Brittany, formal invitation. And why not come with me? Because I'll make you laugh about it. You know what I mean? Very true. You probably, they'll probably end up being her and her wife, I would think. That's cool. It, her swipe seems very intense. It's so crazy, though, because I, I was on a blogs where I, where I am from time to time when I'm not paying attention to real life. And um, I said something like, um, you know what I mean with the with the uh, lesbians and they walking real slow. I've been walking. Oh man, yeah. Right. Um, they had that posted and somebody put on Twitter. It worked. So I commented and I'm like, um, yo, they need to show her this immediately. Like we have to lift her spirits up. She's been through a lot. First comment: How do you know? Like how you know she's been through a lot? It's safe to say it's a being Russian arrested in a communist country where homosexuality is banned Word. and a negro i don't think you're allowed to be black over there <laughs> i think that might be a rough ride for a six yeah, eight black woman right black gay ass woman facts and it's not even like she's a black gay woman that could really you don't know what she is when you see nah, her you, you know, know she's up. gay when you see her she's for having sure. it rough you over here hear it. she has a deep voice I ain't say that. Go ahead, Dre. What was you trying to say? Her sinuses? What? You heard me. Go ahead. I ain't. I just want to rough that nigga on the tongue. <laughs> Send me automatic with the drum. You ain't got to elaborate on everything. Get no 90 just for nigga, just for fun. Are you dumb? All right. Yikes. Um, super happy. 
Um, it's crazy because Tom was the one that told me that. Tom, remember when you <laughs> gotcha? Tom's not here. Come on. <laughs> We're in Baltimore reporting to you live. Where else would it be a party on a goddamn Thursday? Baltimore, Baltimore. Blueface is in jail. Kershawn's nigga and um Is he? he oh is. yeah, he got a whole like, like a situation. Homicide. Yeah, he got a whole situation. Oh, oh, I saw that lip service episode just drop. Because it's been like circling today, but that's old. Circling. That's circuit. How do you circulating? Say it? Circulating. I said circling instead of circulating. You could have used either word, but you mixed them. That kind of work. Is circling a word? Circling. Then shut the fuck. Is circling a word, Harry? Tell me. Circling. Circling. That sound like a. That sound like a pill. It's not a word at all. It sound right. Circling sound like a drug. Shut your fucking mouth. Okay, whatever. Circulating. Beat me up, why don't you? Fill up your school district. I mean, school system mixed with like colonial. Like, come on, you lucky I can fucking read. You know what I mean? You ain't care about. And I know division. Long as you know math, I know history. No, that don't do nothing for you. I know plus maths. So I don't know algebra. Plus maths is crazy. And um, uh, multiplication. Let's not do this because you know I, that's the. Come you on, want man. Phelps to start quizzing you? No, no, I, I would never. I would. I would never do my baby Phelps like went that. Went to college and he thinks he's better than me, and that's I fine because I, I went to community college in Philadelphia and I went to community college in Delaware, and I didn't finish either. You talk about me going to college more than I do. True. I'm impressed by it. I don't care. For I'm that. impressed by people that go to school because I think it's something I always wanted to do. Like deep down inside. Like when I get older, I'll just buy it. Like all other celebs do. I'm going <laughs> I'm to I'm still try to use that piece of paper when I get some more money, but it's not going to be the work for nobody. They're serious. Listen here. I never knew as an adult. Start my agricultural business. You feel me? Oh I mean, college, oh, this, that. a degree helps you get a first, helps you get a good first job. After that, they don't care. They about don't it. even do that, Dre. I don't even think it does that, Dre. That's what it. I mean, that's essentially because after that, once you got the experience, people just care about your experience. What's your degree in? Hospitality management. Oh, wow. hospitality management. It's a good. That's a good. Nothing job. to do with what, what, what I'm you're doing. doing now. Yeah, that's most people. Um, I had a blast at college though. You did. What Same college time. did you go to? JMU, James Madison University. And that's in Maryland. That's in Virginia. Me and Dre have okay. a mutual friend. No way. Yes, Who is that the one drug dealer you know? No. <laughs> you talking, talking about the girl, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you fuck her? No, that's my homie. Shut up. Anyway, Phelps did an interview and now he's a fame whore. So that's good. How was your interview? How'd you like it? I'm not a fame whore. That's not my first interview. Stop disrespecting me. He All said right. he on this platform every day. Put some respect on his name. The part of Phelps' interview that they highlighted was really interesting because I th- I think that's interesting about Phelps because Phelps is from Philadelphia and we're from the land of pain music and he doesn't like it. He doesn't like struggle <laughs> music or struggle movies. Like, niggas love that. Phelps hates it. So, that was cool. I ain't trying to relate to the bad times. I'm just not one of them. So. I guess so. So, you don't have one little, like, secret struggle song and struggle movie that you love? N- nah, I like, I, I ain't even going to lie. I feel like the end, of, like DMX gave me good struggle joints. State property. I was gonna say Beans gave yeah, me good you struggle joints. State property, yeah, but. so but like, the more older I got, I didn't, I didn't like when you. I don't know how can I say it. Like for instance, when you, when it you, makes total sense to me. It always, has. oh all right, yeah, it always has. Yeah. It's like in a way, it's almost like. Like, even when people look into, like, creativity or whatever, and let's say you have a dark light, but you love bright artwork and, mm-hmm. you know, like, sunny, happy, perfect shit. It's just, you know, some people like what they like. And sometimes when you're so close to something, that's just, like, for me, I remember when high school, The Coldest Winter Ever came out by Sister Soldier, and that was a huge book, and that was, like, the thing. Like, you would read those urban books. And then I went to jail where it was mostly urban books and it was nothing to read. I never read that stuff after that because it's like, yeah. these bitches going to jail, shooting, blah, blah, blah. like, I've kind of lived that life. I don't want to read about that shit. For me, like, it's, uh, it's like, when you, especially from the age, I would say, to, like, 16 to, like, 25, when you figuring shit out and you on the go, 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 like... I need music to motivate me. Like, right, I right, right, you right, know right, what I right, mean? Right, like, right. I don't need nothing to wear. It's like, yo, remember remember them days? No, I'm not trying to remember them days right now. You no. know, <laughs> you know, I was looking at, I was on my, because I'm on Instagram constantly. It's really my favorite app. Um, my cousin was listening to Why You Being Weird to Me at six in the morning. And I, and I commented, <laughs> I commented, you're a psycho. My cousin's name is Candace. She's like listening. Song? Let's, let's put it all out there. My cousin's name is Candace. She is 4'11". She has a huge ass and she's a bitch. 
And she loves me so much and she supports me so much. And her children love my the, the fucking song. They think I'm a rock star. And this bitch is listening to Why You Being Weird to Me, <laughs> Mung, Mung, Mung at six in the morning. And you know what I commented? I didn't say I love you. I didn't say thanks for your support. I said, You're a fucking psycho. What the fuck are you doing? Like you work in a hospital. Like, are you oh, fucking? Okay. You know the best part about this? She listens to every episode. Because I know which one. I, I know you who you're talking about. Big booty, I I'm remember. Sure you do. You listen, <laughs> I want you to know, Candace, with the eye, you little bitch. Every time she see my name on her phone, or if I text her and I'll spell it C A N D A C E, she has a fit. Your name's Candace, for the love of God. Candace, this is for you. You're a fucking psycho, and you're weird as shit for listening to party music in the morning. This bitch <laughs> coming back. I listen to party music to get my day going. You're a psycho. That's crazy. You are set. Let time for the percolator. Time for the percolator. Six in the morning, bitch. What if that get her up? Can you believe this bitch is married? I can't believe it. Oh, you say she not even bumping that in the in the car. That's in the crib. Turned this up bitch my... just gets ready to shit like that, and it's oh, crazy. In the house, no. Yeah, right. This is the bitch in traffic Wu Tanging. She Wu Tangs at the steering wheel. I'm still talking about you, Candace. I don't give a fuck. And every time I text this bitch, she's like, it's Candace D I C E, dickhead. It's like, bitch, so what? I don't give a fuck. Candace is Candace is Candace. Tomato, tomato, bitch. <laughs> tomato, tomato, bitch. This bitch love the shit out of me. Our family is horrible. I love you oh, too, God. but you're a weird ass bitch listening to why you being weird to me at six o'clock <laughs> this morning, bitch. Let's move on. I'm crying. Oh my God. It's Phelps out of tears eyes for the listeners. Oh. Somebody just texted me, hey, beautiful. Another reason why my life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is 621, nigga. Hey, beautiful to you too, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to you, Grand Rising motherfuckers. And hey, beautifuls. I want you all to know we hate that. We hate it just as much as we hate them dick pics. Oh, man. Please, dog. Please. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this a long time ago. <laughs> no, listen, I needed to talk about this a long time ago, and I wanted to talk about it with men. I watched the Drink Champs interview recently where Irv Gotti is discussing Ashanti. Now, I think I briefly talked about it before because the conversation was something about calling her bitch over and over, but that's really petty. But when I watched it yesterday, I really got to see how creepy he looked. Mm -hmm. He's disgusting. I want to publicly say Irv Gotti is a fucking freak. He might even be a predator. It He's it, disgusting. Explain he, the situation of people. Let me tell you. Yeah, so he's back. talking about a young girl in the music industry that he has had hands in in years at the time, right? Working with her and like stalking her and getting her and using what he had to get her, mm -hmm. knowing that she needed him and what he could do for her in her career and her being so young and just her body and just the way he discusses. And he was drunk. And that's the thing about drink champs. Niggas is on. You can kind of see how people really feel as a woman is disgusting to watch that, especially at my fucking age, knowing his age and her age and age difference and all the stuff you hear about the music industry. Just to ask somebody she wasn't be, legal at the time. She was legal. But he was praying on her before. It she just was, was weird. You know what I mean? First of all, it's very accepting for a man that's 30, 35 to go for an 18 year old. It makes it makes zero sense. The bitch was illegal 17. It's crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I see these families on TikTok, these viral families, and they'd be so happy and they got all these kids. And we do the math. He was fucking her at 16, he's 23. It's just mm -hmm. like it's a very common thing that happens, but it's taboo. And you should hide it. You should change the numbers and you should fix it around because it's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. And when these people have daughters, it's like, what do you think? Like, how did your mind work then when your daughter's ass pokes out at 15? Like, what do you right. Because it's the it's your mind where these people's minds are. I remember I learned at a really early age that if a man is trying to talk to me, he's older than me, it must be something wrong with him because women his age must not like him. That's how I looked at it. So the things that he has now is impressing me because of what I have, because, but he's not on the level with the people his age. Right. And that's why he likes me. You know what I mean? Especially when I think about myself sexually, where I was, it's like, why does your grown ass like me? Mm -hmm. My grown boyfriend was definitely trying to intimidate me and pressure me into doing things, threesome, sexual things, all kind of shit. Yeah. Anything to, street, I was with it. You. Anything street, I was with it, though. It was like, what? I hold the coke. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out the money. Nigga, flip that. Now you cook that, do that, double that, stack that, 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 pull the man up here. You right. know what I mean? But all that other shit was out the window. Not eating your ass. And I'm not having a threesome. <laughs> That's good you stayed down. I was this close to eating a nigga's ass and I was like 18. I ain't think about him lying. I wasn't even close. His ass was so big and square. I was like, I'm not doing that. So you never ate ass? 
Mm, she ain't say that. <laughs> I've never ate ass. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ate ass, and I definitely don't think I'll ever be ready to publicly say I ate ass. Not yet. Mm. But I would eat my husband's ass if he asked. I'm pretty sure you have publicly said this before. I mean, Did I have ass or I haven't? I'm not against it. That's what I'll say. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's gay for a man to have his ass licked or ate out or whatever. I think it's like, I don't know what type of situation I would have to be in to be comfortable with this nigga asking me. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather, like, a polite, like, scoot up. Like, lick this ass type vibe. You know what I mean? Like, so, don't ask me to lick your ass, bro. Like, lift your nuts up. You know what I mean? Or cock that shit to the left a little bit. And we got to be getting freaky. And preferably, we got to be fucked up. You so, know what I mean? So we can forget this shit together. So he got to do it to you, but you ain't going to do it to him. Oh, he has to eat my ass. I did, that's what I'm saying. I'm not against it, Dre. You just have to get it out of me the right way. You know what I mean? Like, buy me stuff a lot. And don't ask me for it. You know what I mean? Just lift your balls up. I consider myself, like, freaky a little bit. You know? So I'm with trying shit, but it's like, I'm not going to eat no pussy for you. And I don't want you to ask me to eat your ass. Like, just Nah, that's crazy. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's nah. like, uh, Yeah. You know? I wish Quaddy was here. He's very open about how he feels about ass licking. <laughs> yeah, Quaddy gets his ass licked. Quaddy's gorgeous. He lets bitches eat his ass, and he deserves it because he's talented and he's a rapper. And if anybody deserves their ass, they, it's an artist like a rapper that's as gorgeous as Quaddy. Cut to Quaddy's pick. God damn it. If we could put Quaddy, especially the little um graphic one, you know the ones everybody were doing? Yeah, they busting What were they, that. avatars? I got mine too. I bet you did. Let's see it. You could tell. Look that that Let's tell, see it. that tell you the, that tell you the um the age demographic. Why? Because him and Quaddy the same age. Are they? Yeah, same. Only a year or two apart. Maybe Dre probably. It's so crazy. I just think of Dre like a fifty year old man. I can't. I can't see him. Dre, you mind saying yeah? Are you right? I'm twenty nine. Yeah, Quaddy oh, okay. two years younger than him. Yeah. Okay, I'm such an old whore. It's ridiculous. We a couple of jaws over the 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know what I'm, I'm just getting my body done. I'm going to count my age for my body. So I'll be like three. Wow. How old are you? I'm four and a half. These titties are four and a half years old, actually. Thank you for asking me, Sheila and Nina. That's crazy. You know, somebody actually DM me and said. It's a whole, it's a hundred of them. It's a hundred of them. That's it. Has, they, they make them all for you? It has like different. Uh... Dre, can I be honest with you? What? You look like Jesus Christ. You look like who Jesus really is. Let me is. see. Because now tell me this is this isn't Jesus or Moses or some kind of prophet. He's supposed to be a problem. This that don't is, even look digital. Oh, you are out of here. Look at it. I can't see it from that far away. Take the glasses off, Ray Okay, Charles. this one. Okay, I see. <laughs> he looks like Jesus. Because they try to sell it that he white with blue eyes, but no, that's what the fuck Jesus look like, DeAndre. Yeah. Look at here. Jeez. <laughs> You are amazing looking, Dre. There's a whole bunch of different settings. Like, you are... What the fucking... That's not God? Is that not God? God damn. What Kanye say? I this, am this, a God. They got mad thieves, Dre pick ancestral. <laughs> you broke your phone like me, Dre. Hold on. This is ridiculous. Bro, this is not God like with this cloth on him. That's yeah, he picked the you feel me? No, nah, it's like a whole bunch. Uh they do like different type of things. So it's like superhero, then it's like Oh my rock god, star. what if his beard was this Philly Dre? This is Dre <laughs> from North Philly. This is amazing. I love this whole thing, bro. Okay, let's not have enough with this. Um Quaddy did his and he looked amazing because Quaddy's gorgeous. Shout yeah. out to Quaddy's on man. One of them, I was looking at the hairline like, all right. Now. <laughs> that ain't yours. <laughs> you didn't pull that bitch up. Definitely. Um, what was I talking about? But yeah, it just it, it grossed me out a lot. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it up. But anytime it's a bunch of grown ass men just talking about certain shit, it's just like I don't know, but welcome to podcast and whatever. Um Kiki Palmer's pregnant. I'm really happy for Kiki Palmer. I love Kiki Palmer. Shout out I love her. Kiki Palmer. Yo, did you see that viral thing that went around about her feet? Mm-mm. She was. <laughs> feet was crazy looking. Is her feet are gorgeous? And she was talking about. She was like, "Google Kiki feet." And tell me I'm lying. Like, it's so funny because her feet are gorgeous. And she's trying to tell them, like, yo, my feet got a Google page. Like, I have really nice feet. That's hard. But she gets pregnant. She's the cutest. She has her SNL. Um, reveal or whatever, and people are talking about 
people being pregnant, not being married. I'm like, are we in 1965? I don't. <clears throat> That's always the thing that people say, but I will not tolerate Kiki Slender. I love Kiki Palmer. Listen, I don't know how you wouldn't really like Kiki Palmer. Um, it's so many different facets of her, but just one, the whole coming online, talking about her skin issue or danger, whatever issue she had. I just thought that was real brave. A lot of people go through stuff like that and then putting herself on camera without makeup. And because she just said that y'all talking about I'm ugly about makeup, makeup don't make me like she's so confident. She's so talented or whatever. I do like Kiki Palmer. Um, but the whole marriage thing is like that conventional shit really is up to you. Now, if it's your religion or culturally if that's what you do then fine but don't put your values and shit on other people it's like yeah. i know people that have great relationships and they never got married it just wasn't in their plans it wasn't in their cards they didn't want to mix together the business stuff because that's really what marriage is about to me marriage is about like you you know you you saying before god you're gonna hold this person down but you really taking this paperwork and tying it up together. Like, we're going to get this indictment together. That's how I look at it. You know what I mean? This motherfucker's selling coke on the side. I ain't know. Now we both going to jail. Yeah. You know? So it's like, at a certain, it depends what you want. Me, Demona, always wanted to be married. I want to try it. I'm going to do it. Whatever, you know? But it's like, I don't think Sheila is wrong if that's not in her plans. Mm -hmm. Even if it's like, she wants a baby and she's not married or other. Like, I don't think, like, I just think niggas be worried about the wrong shit a lot. And I think it's always a lot of like putting your values and what you think is important on other people. Because a person like Kiki Palmer really don't need to be married the situation nah. like she's kiki fucking palmer you know the child taken care of that's, that's what's baby important, kiki right? nigga yeah and then i think the dad is something what does he play basketball or something he regular dude work at triple a oh you don't know him. you love kiki palmer don't you don't know who the fuck she go with that ain't his I business kiki palmer. got a real fan you ever um, had somebody when we that's a celebrity that's like of course you like a whole bunch of different celebrities but you had that one you feel like you kind of grew up with mm -hmm. like Kiki Palmer is my age a killer and the like B baby Keela and the B True Jackson VP on Nickelodeon like uh, her whole journey it's like that's that one celebrity black like girl who is like actually my age you have anybody like that that you like watch this is so ghetto no but I used to feel connected to T.I. because we caught all our criminal cases at the same time like over and over like he caught the fake case I caught the fake case he violated I violated and I was connected to him by that. And now I'm not because he just came out and said that he told him his cousin. I don't like it. I don't know how he old. He told him his dead cousin. What I don't do know think? how old Kyla Pratt is, but I think she's close to my age. I, that's what I feel like. I Kyla Pratt, that would be your person? Yeah, I don't I don't fucking know. She was in Love you and Basketball. He was watching one-on-one. One-on-one. She was in Love and Basketball. And oh, I'm, she's the kid. And yeah. then she was in she was in some other couple. She was in a bunch of movies. Like She was like a, do you feel me? She was Penny Proud. Penny Proud, yeah. She did a bunch of shit. Never watched none of that. Um, in fact, I wouldn't even know who Kyla Pratt was until you said Love and Basketball. What I will say is that... Hater. That's ghetto as shit, what I just said. But just fast forward, just want to answer your question. Phelps, T.I. comes out and says that he caught a case, right? And in the middle of fighting this case, his cousin dies, murdered or something. And then he tell he says to the people that whatever he got caught with was his cousin's. Didn't he say his he cousin told off. him to do it? Yes, but did his cousin know he was going to die? Like, what the fuck? I thought that part was a joke. Mm, like, he was being... I don't know the ins and outs of T.I. joint. What I'm telling you right now, is that telling? He... Is that telling if you're telling on a dead nigga? Yeah, still telling. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if that's smart or would what. You, would you... I mean, I feel like most people would do it to say their own ass. And where would it work? Especially not, knowing that listen, it, there are no repercussions for that person. But where would it work? Listen, what cop would believe that? Like, how fucking convenient is that? I'm not saying it ain't smart, <laughs> but it's telling. You feel me? It's but it, it was telling. definitely a great way to tell, though. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all this. It's a good job. I don't even know if I could say this. This is like a real crime that happened. I don't care. I'm saying it. So one time in the ghetto somewhere a long time ago, it was like a street fight or something. It was a bunch of people outside. And then somebody shot from the back of the crowd and hit the person that was in the front of the crowd, right? Killed them. Now, they lock up the wrong person from the beginning for it, right? And then the person that does oh it gets killed. God. And then she tells, like, yo, it was him, da da da. And they never believed it. The bitch got 20 years for that shit. She ain't even do it. Her dead nephew did it. Mm. If that shit, people, I'm sorry I told the story, but I was there. I could tell it. I was there. You know what I mean? In the ghetto. Fast forward. Everybody that's never been in the ghetto, lived in the ghetto, experienced the ghetto, feel free to get some ghetto gospel here, baby. We could tell you some war stories, or you could just 
move to the Northeast, <laughs> Philadelphia. That might be and fine. You can just try to, you know, you ain't got to relate to the trauma all the time. Yeah, because Phelps doesn't want to hear it. In fact, we listened to rock yeah. on the way down here today. A little bit of panic at the disco, you heard? You know what I've been listening to? And I just talked to her in a DM. Freaky T and the, 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 boop, boop, boom. You know, it's me. That's you know, you call me Freaky T. She spit a nigga mouth. You know, and all that's that. what caught my eye, Dre. At the video shoot, a guy bends down, opens his mouth, and she spits in it. I love that. Oh, wow. I want a fan to ask me to spit in their mouth. Can one of you fans please ask for my spit? Because I will surely give it to you. They been better do it. Chicks be requesting. <laughs> if be you requesting were single and a girl said spit in your mouth, you still wouldn't do it, right? No. Okay. You're not spinning the girl mouth. She I do it. Never mind. <laughs> not nice. like that's. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You know me. You you call me. me. You feel me? All right, that Freddy nigga. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, no. Um. First of all, I always say that, like with the spitting during sex. You know, do you do it? Do you not do it? Whatever. But that is the like the worst case scenario that the person you do it with gets it from the back of their chest, like Phelps just did. Mm. Nah, like, why you would you yeah, do you me don't, like you that? Don't give it's a, a joke, flammer. right? Yeah, it's a joke. So right. That's a loogie. That's a loogie. Wow. I don't do, if I if I do if I do it when I've done it the wrong way, it wasn't that. It was more because like I was like the spit was disrespectful, not because it was flimmy. So you had spit on a woman? Yeah, sex? that ain't nothing. But like in her mouth or in her butt or what? All that mouth, butt. This one, um, <laughs> this one, this one girl. She was like, um, yeah, I don't like the way you you treat me like a sidewalk. I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 yeah. I had a guy spit on my butt, and the sound of it was rough. But you know what's crazy? It was at the spit of my butt, spit of my butt. <laughs> I bought my butt because in in the spit in the butt and the thumb that save you from eating ass. Sometimes you feel me. Boy. Nigga, boy, you was a pro, boy. You was a pro, boy. What the I'm gonna do it? That's wild. People were going crazy about me and Amanda talking about that. And her fans were like so mean. Like, but call me a kid, then you dirty bitch. Because I don't want nothing in my hands. That's an exit. If it's an exit, Dre, why would God put a gland in there to make you feel so good? Mm hmm. I'm getting niggas happy for a reason. The reasons that we're here. Yeah, it's not for me. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Don't knock it till you try it. That's how my mom responds to it. My mom was born in the 60s where it was like people didn't do that, I don't think. Yeah. You know, it's illegal in some states. Yeah. It was sodomy, is what it's called, right? Call me a lawbreaker. Ain't that what it's called, Dre? I think so. For the listeners at home, call me a little. Oh, yeah. No, the spitting thing, this is how I feel about the spitting thing. I feel like it was made popular by Meek Mills. I think a lot of people didn't know nothing about it or did it until they heard him say it. Well, go. You know what I mean? That's my personal yeah, opinion. That's mean. when it started getting so many conversations. But it's just nasty, you know? It's not for the week. It's not for the regular. Oh, fuckers be asking. That'd be that'd be to throw you off. Maybe you like spit in my mouth. It'd be like, oh, go. I think. Yeah, but during, mm -hmm. I think that's. I think it's proper. Yeah. I don't think it's weird to do that for somebody to say spit in my mouth. Oh that. yeah, that's the only. Because how else you gonna know? You talking about just walking down the streets? Because you can't just random do it. You know what I mean? Because motherfucker ain't ready. It's like, oh nigga, this is a fight. You know yeah, what I mean? Something got it's, it. Got to be a midst of action. We ain't, we ain't just. I want to say so much, but I just can't. But just to be, I'm chilling on the couch and then walk by and spit in my mouth. Nah, we fighting. Oh, Phelps, please. Let's just move on because I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> what you call him, a dick back? I had three dick backs since we started this conversation. <laughs> and it's so crazy. My dick backs include a really bad person. So it's like, it's nothing good about the dick back because it's like, then I flashed him digging in my purse. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow, he's a loser. And Dude, helps whenever, knows him. Whenever. Boo -boo. When, <clears throat> whenever I, it's crazy because whenever I have like a, a flashback about some pussy, it's just one joint, but it's from like, 
four years ago that or something pussy like that. Good. You think of her? Yeah, I only hit it twice. I still don't like Let's call her. Do you think she wants to I don't have show? no I We think still her, think about you. Her number changed, like you that feel me? Mary. Ain't nobody dumb. I, like really, that. You feel, I used to be right by looking like because <laughs> I mean, it's right off the you know what I mean do you know what i believe though i believe all freaky girls whores get like wiped up like that because to me a man That's might crazy. like a man might like a good girl a man might like you know like a girl got a lot going for herself successful woman career woman or a woman that's real motherly to raise her kids or a woman that his mother appeared i mean approve of but ain't nothing like that girl could suck that nut about you what the head hunter that sucked the dick without you asking and it's nasty nasty and she always frying fucking breakfast sandwiches in the morning that she fuck you suck it dry that's the one you want what that's why when some of these girls be in my comments and y'all so prudish it's like ew people go with y'all yeah like you're so corny. You don't do that. I don't do Word. this. I don't do that. You got to list longer than what you don't do than what you do. Girl, get nasty. That's why I don't call you big. <laughs> Word, they be offering. Like, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have people offer to suck my toes. It's getting offer? to that point. You mm-hmm. didn't allow it? You wouldn't allow it? Go ahead. Put the toe in your mouth. That's why I like Phelps. Phelps with that shit. But Phelps ain't, ain't going to be fucking that, you for three days. I ain't with all that nut shit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't fucking you for three days, neither. It's just like we're gonna get this done. We're gonna fuck all night and then I'm gonna see you in like two months. All night's crazy. All night is just three hours. I was just having all night sex and I was so skinny. But that's why. All night is not really all night. It's it's really like just three hours on and off. It just seemed real long. It's never really like technically all night. Drug sex be all night. Somebody told me shroom sex was the best. I keep telling you I ain't had an erection on shrooms. I don't think. Oh, right. You can't get it up on the shrooms. Don't do that for me. That's great. Remember one though. time I gave my nigga Adderall and he did, couldn't get up. He was like, don't ever give me that shit again. He was so angry. Acid, though, I had sex on. That was tough. I'm scared of acid and stuff. Well, this conversation always gets so crazy. Yeah. Next topic. I don't know. We can move on because I don't get any dick. You know what I mean? And I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm getting to know myself. <laughs> um, I'm just working on myself, love. Um, getting to know myself, doing facials. Um, been working on my skin. Um, working on my confidence. And you know, what just, kind of facial you talking about? Mm. Not the good ones, motherfucker. <laughs> You know, just reading self-help books and spending time with my grandmother, spending time with my children. And my life, I'm so focused. Oh, yeah. I'm so focused. Playing with yourself. You know what I mean? I don't. Like, I'm in a bad spot. And I feel like it's so crazy because I was such a sexual being a couple years ago. It's so crazy how your life can change. And I would constantly <laughs> and I would constantly get on the internet and make fun of bitches like you to never get fucked. And now I'm amongst you. Incent burning, lonely ass. Mm. Self love ass bitches, <laughs> and I must say I miss the toxicity and the penis knocking against my head every other day. Hour, I mean, call me. Let's move on. I don't need no dick. Dick need me. Fuck them. Them men are so mad because I said that they drink Capri Suns. Like relax. Who <laughs> bad? <laughs> it's so many of them calling me fat bitches. That's why you gained all that who weight, mad, bitch. Who I can lose weight if I want, motherfucker. Who mad? Do wait. Who did you make mad? <laughs> I said lunchable eating, feet stinking, couple oh. things, nothing crazy. I didn't even say much, and they are so oh, upset. Man, I ain't even gonna lie. Like Nick, like you, I even, you perfectly described like niggas. But it's the thing. People, most people say what makes it the best is you laughing at them in the background. That shit's because I told you I checked a lot of them boxes, it was hilarious. And you're not upset at all, not one bit. Get over it, Raheem. <laughs> um, real quick, Boosie has been on a tirade about you know, he's been harassing Dwayne Wade's daughter and Lil Nas X for a long time. Gabby Union finally responded back. Uh-oh. And she sound like such a white girl. So this <laughs> white girl, call your ghetto cousin. But she was like, her name Gabrielle. She was like, hey, Boosie Boos. Maybe you can, <laughs> maybe you want, you can think about dick a lot, Boosie Boos. I'm like, you are a white woman, yuck. And then Boosie responded and he called her white. So then now he's the one again, Gabby. He won you again. need to let your daughter and say some shit. She seemed like she could be a little snazzy. 
I she's mean, she's a sweet little girl though, and she looks so cute, and she looks so much like a girl, like I she's mean, a girl. D Wade, D Wade from Chicago, and he got more money than Boosie, so we just gonna leave it at that. You feel me? I mean, I don't know. I just think it's weird to, for niggas to worry about other niggas' kids, especially when you pay the prostitute. I always repeat this, and I want y'all never to forget: Boosie paid the prostitute yeah. to fuck his teenage son. Yeah. Cause it was time to get fucked, time to get some pussy. Whatever. Um, I think it's interesting that just want to sprinkle this in here. Yo Gotti has Angela, and they're out now. And they go together. I think that's very cool. Cause he said it. Cool. Oh, did he actually he, go with he, Angela Simmons. They're dating. Get the fuck out of here. No bullshit. He backed. That's up. hard. So it's all you gotta do fuck. is just. Manifestation. Right. Meek did it for Nick. When I said it before, y'all didn't say anything. Didn't Meek do it for Nikki? He remixed. I love Nicki Minaj. I swear, y'all, I admit it. I hope one day I can hit it just to say I fucking. So let did me it. put. So let me put my bid in right now. Who you want? Who you want? Nia Long. I seen you just got done with that nigga <laughs> email. You heard me. I thought you were gonna say me. You feel me? And I know he was taking you to he Pat's and Gino's. He was taking me? you to the wrong cheesesteak spot. You feel me? He said he already on. had that. I got you. That's old. Wait till I get my body. Knee along in the cherry thong with the lights on. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck you, Phelps. Phelps manifesting. Every time I say it over and over, do y'all know what Meek did it with Nikki? Please say you do. When Dre comes out, I love Nicki Minaj. I swear y'all, I admit it. I hope one day we can get married just to say we fucking did it. Mm -hmm. He remixes and say, I one day I could fuck you just to say I fucking did it. And he dates her later. You don't remember? Yeah, but I... Okay. So? As long as I just wanted... I just, I don't know. I just think it's We're cool. not focused on them. We worry about me and Nia right now. You heard? Nia, if you don't mind getting your ass whooped, you can come on over here if No, you want. never. I won't let it touch you, you heard? I <laughs> knock Phelps the fuck out. And you could cut your hair. I know when women get stretched, y'all want to switch it up. You could go right back to the low cut. You feel me? I'm here. Be a low love you Jones, too. You are so disloyal. Mm. It's disgusting. It's, you're you really thinking about Nia Long. You're thinking about Nia Long behind them glasses. Like, so you just said, mm, and bit your lip. Like, what are you doing? Yo, you be talking crazy. I'll let you get it off. That's different. You show me the niggas with the shirts off and all so that. So what? Big buff, whack ass Johnny Bravo looking corny ass niggas. I pulled a lot of Johnny Bravos. I just got a good morning nigga, beautiful from a Johnny Bravo. Nigga, nigga, nigga on a, a sling on a Maybach and got a straw hat on. Get the fuck out of here. That's exactly what I get. With flip flops on, come hang with me on for New Year's. Like, nigga, 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 it's fucking mad. Look like, uh, rem remember, um, the, the, uh, they only want to repost Phelps. They don't want remember me. Remember, I love New York. Dre, remember that show? Day yeah. show. Oh, remember, yeah, yeah, remember yeah, the nigga yeah. Tango he used to always wear jeans and sandals, and he was real buff. Brian Pumper, that's what I drank. Would you do? Nah, a show like it don't that? even beat him. Cause I would, I would be like, yo, we, that should, was, we should do that. I kid you Get not. Mona a show like me that. and Phelps just had this conversation. Me doing a show like that, like find me a man, would be fucking. Oh hilarious. yeah, we would do that. Hilarious. Especially like, with me on the side clowning niggas. Yeah, that oh, would be God. hilarious. But the thing about it is. Y'all wouldn't be able to have me in the picking because I would be so... Like, them kind of guys that that would attract would turn me off real bad. So it would take me a long time to pick that 10. They got to go at it. You know what I mean? Well, the thing... Well, the kind of nigga that goes on one of them shows is not my kind of so nigga. So I was going to say, me, you know, I'm going to be able to be... I'm going to be able to filter that out for you. Like, you know, Well, let's next, pitch it around next, and get it done. Next. I feel like they Let's do try it for to, you too, Dre. They're going to try to act like how they think you would want. Exactly. They're going to be punching like. each other and shooting this shit and shooting <laughs> dice and shit. Yeah, that's the thing. It can't be too extreme like niggas gonna be pulling pistols out you can't be fighting indictment but you can't have a six pack neither you feel we gotta be like I somewhere and the thing about me that's so like so i don't think i'm i don't think i'm like complex but it's like dog i really like nice guys like i don't want no mean ass nigga like you y'all don't know how many guys that be like even when they're offering something or they're nice guys they'll their approach still be yeah bitch let's go to this like why are you talking to me like that people really think i like that it's like yeah. nigga i like flowers it's like my favorite <laughs> like i like flowers yeah anyway um real fast i got lost in a youtube hole last night um i watched two pimps fight on no jumper i'm late to this <laughs> um the one pimp was a pimp named Kelpie. Um, he was kind of a fake pimp. He didn't really know the game. <laughs> For instance, he referred to one of his girls fagging off. Now, that's not the other. Just mm. shimmy all that out. But the term is fagging off, and that means going home to your family. 
I mean, that means going to another pimp to pay another man. Hmm. He used the term when the girl just went home to their family. And the pimp that was like the OG pimp, Started he was so, oh, my God. So then they do another show. And, of course, Adam's like the host or whatever. And he beats the shit out that of him. That was the joint the nigga jumped across the couch. Oh, he whoops his ass so good. First he spits on him. Then he takes his headset off and commences to like 14 piece in him. Put blood everywhere. He whooped his ass. It was excellent. The funniest part of that video is the, the, my man's then the nigga foot on the ground. Mm -hmm. The nigga foot just. It's twisted. <laughs> yeah. And then he says, because he does it because he calls him a bitch. And the guy says, what? And he says it again. You a bitch. Who a bitch? You a bitch. Tagged him. Well, I don't, like, why do I'm. I be trying to figure. I love it. I be trying to figure out where are niggas in from in life that they that they feel like they could just disrespect certain people and like we just gonna be it's about to be a fussing match. Like. Right. Or you know what else? <laughs> it's such a white boy thing to put on a pimp outfit and call yourself a pimp mm -hmm. and then do all these interviews and you just this big. I'm talking about a money chain this big out the yeah. gumball machine. It's a joke and the real pimps was offended by it. Cause the one guy compared it to blackface, but it's like if you're not of that culture, then you wouldn't understand how offensive that is and that a, you playing with this shit like a lot that of, a lot of pimps it's not like back in the days a lot of pimps now it's not a look it's just yeah you feel me yeah. it could be it's a, definitely a swag your talk and yeah certain exactly shit, it's the, and that's what it, it bop, is you start yeah you start no talking that lingo suits and all that nah, shit that's deep. It ain't all then that. they ask them about white folks it's like how the fuck are you a white pimp and you don't know who the fuck white folks is i know white yeah folks white is. folks everybody remember white folks well we grew up watching american it. pimp Whole like, straw you know, on the paper. Atlantic, roll. Atlantic Remember that? City. Uh, Remember that show? His voice would be like this as the whole straw. Was that American Pimp on HBO? Or Atlantic City Hookers? Atlantic City Hookers. Atlantic City Hookers. That's Hookers. what that was. And then. Um, Atlantic City Hookers was HBO. American Pimp was a documentary. Pause. Last time you took a picture when we were having a scene, he looked real nice. I looked real bad. Can you switch that? <laughs> I'm not even taking a picture. I'm, just, I'm watching the brother, No Jumper thing that you talk about. Brother, it's good. Did you see him? Did he block it out on that one? Yeah, they blocked it out. Go to out. Twitter. Okay. Go to Twitter. But um, go to Twitter at home. Don't go. Don't pay nobody Patreon for that shit. You took a picture. <laughs> you took a picture of us last week, and he looked cute, and I looked ugly. People want the raw. Well, that's not the real, but Damn. you know, that came out wrong. I want a filter on my face on this fucking thing. I do. Why you always ask me to put filters on you? Because I like filters. They look so nice. Um, Why don't y'all? Y'all don't like filters. I mean, nah. So nah you know, you know why? Because I don't want. Don't surprise me, motherfucker. I ain't gonna surprise you. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't really? gonna for some of y'all in real life, real life. Who I, is that? That's why I give motherfuckers no filter. I give them nigga my real metrics. You see what I'm saying? So when they see me, they be like, "Well, yeah, nigga, I told you what it was." Okay, let's go. Voicemail time. Already? Yeah. How long we been recording for hours? Like forty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that's the most recent one, I think. Not go. that one. It's one not that one. Okay. They playing now? What's that? A mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brandy. Okay, let me start over. You know I have a tension Sitting up span. in my room? Shut up, Phelps. But that's what it was, was Brandy. You know, I was really loved that moment in time because that was my thing. <laughs> that was your... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, Mona. This is Jay. So I was calling. I was... Okay, so... My problem is, how do you know, like, for example, me and this guy, we've been talking for about two months, which I know is really new, but I'm just thinking, how long should you wait before you give it to him? And then, like, how long should you wait until you have, like, the what are we conversation? Like, would you have that going into it? Or do you just kind of vibe it out? You know, just kind of, how, how do you approach it? It depends place? how you like, feel about the situation. I have never asked a nigga, what, what are we? I always like made myself what it was or he did it. You know what I mean? Most of our relationships just turn until we go together. It's real fast. And it's usually the guy being like territorial and ridiculous. And you know, my pussy, you know, I'm going to be mm. talking, I'll kill a nigga, whatever. I haven't dated the <laughs> nicest Cornball guys. Niggas. Yeah. But at this stage of the game, because it depends on where you at in life. Back in the day, you know, I would hold it out and I wouldn't fuck him until he did a certain amount of stuff for me and we had a certain amount of dates and we exchanged an amount of this and that. Now, if I want to have sex with you, I'm going to have sex with you. Life is too short to be holding back the pussy. For love of God, with global warming, we never know how long we got. Fuck that nigga while you can. These pandemics are happening as fast as they could. Why waste time? Get that coochie up. Tell him. Tell, say it. Get, get that hole up. Mm, get that heard that one up. in a minute. No, but um, Jesus don't want it. If you don't, 
if you know that you can't handle fucking the shit out of him and let him spin in your mouth and your butt and eat his butt, if you know you can't handle that and him ghosting you after, then make sure you know what y'all are before you take it there. It depends how you do that. I was always very stingy with my ninny. And even now, it's like I'm saying that, but I've still never even done that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never just fucked a guy that I like. Like, I still haven't done that, but I aspire to do so. I aspire to just fuck a guy I like and ghost him. You got to do it before you, you mean, before it's a Why time for you. Why can't I be you? an old whore? See what I'm saying? I want to be in a geriatric center. And they like, where's Miss, where's Miss Mona? They can't find me because I keep being on 6 Nana, fucking niggas. Because <laughs> nobody, nobody want to hear Nana out here giving that pussy Why up. That's not? crazy. Fuck them children. If my, listen. Let me tell you something. You better mind your business about your grandma's kitty cat. No, my grand. No, first of your all, your grandma's married. First of all, don't you ever? You feel I ain't you saying ain't that like that. I'm saying in general. Yeah, like we, granny, that, not yeah, your grandma. This wild hypothetical. Don't, don't you ever? God, his grandmother is married to her husband. She's married to forever. Yo, they they just had their fiftieth, like fifty third anniversary. That's crazy. What did uh, they do? This nigga told me, "Don't you ever." Phelps ain't never talked to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even do nothing. Yeah. Um, they ain't do nothing though to celebrate it. That sucks. I think they they might do something on the weekend, but you know they they've been celeb. Them motherfuckers go. They done been everywhere. Did everything. They done been all over the world together. Them niggas is old now. That's they, what's up. they get a little food. You feel me? Smoke some weed. That's get I a love bottle of wine. Weed. I love that. I love yeah. that they get. They, 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 smoke pot. they smoke reefer as they smoke. Yeah. Um, I, it's hard for me to focus because I want to go upstairs and line dance it's mm. getting real crazy I can hear the steps Phelps is fighting the beat <laughs> taking over <laughs> Um, but yeah love it's more about what you want and what you want out of him I could tell already you like him a lot because it's only been two months sounding fucking crazy <laughs> like you shouldn't even be thinking like that yet but you hype and you are so <laughs> make sure you know where you do at do what you do my boy look try to Fuck the shit I'm holding on tight. I don't know. These niggas yeah, play PlayStation and one loans child, whatever. Um DM. I'm manifesting a new car. I want all y'all to manifest it too. Or should I start a gun for me? What you want? <laughs> Specify what you want. I want a truck, Dang. like an Audi truck or a Benz truck. Well, I you, need a truck. We dog. could we could put it all the you just Get said the children it. in. You wanna um you want to have spontaneous sex with a nigga. Right. So have, well, you know what? What? Remember the nigga that hit up Jess? We never found out who we could have. You could step in right there. That's your car right there. Okay. The one that thought she was, I mean, excuse mm-hmm. me. So she was trans. Yeah. Fuck. That was, yeah, that was that one. You see how stressed out y'all got niggas? Like literally. <laughs> my heart just dropped. My heart just dropped. Me too. God damn. Oh, um, I gotta wrap this one up. I'm being bullied by but this see, community. Feel, but, but fuck. Now you understand why I talk how I talk. Phelps, I understand what the fuck you saying. Cool, you gonna get a lot of you feel me, and you know what I'm saying? Cause nah, that one episode you said two things back to back. When we was like, don't say it, and you still. Oh said yeah, it. on the bleep out. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. The bleep was crazy. Did he bleep it? Yeah, yeah. he bleeped it with the like the graphic. <laughs> That's crazy. Cause we said not to say it, and he, and he still, still did it. <laughs> yeah. And I and it was funny because I texted that to a motherfucker from Lynn. It was like, what? Like they was like, you you disrespectful. <laughs> Dark side of the DM. Let's get it. Greetings and blessings. I'm Chief Priest Efa of Healing. I'm Chief. Excuse me. I'm Chief Priest of Efa Healing from Africa, and I'm here for helping people with any kind of spiritual problem and making them reach their higher places in life. How about your spiritual life? How's it going over there? Didn't respond. Then they put, why don't you reply to my message? And my response was, since you help with healing and spiritual stuff, why don't you know? And <laughs> then we get back and forth and he eventually said, fuck you. Um, all y'all with that scammy shit, with that spiritual healing, I could tell you what you got going on. Um, let me, you know what kind of messages I used to get for the longest? I can see in your future that you're about to be really successful, your life, and you're going up. You need to watch people like the most generic, generic bullshit. Yeah. Anybody can see me say I'm working, motherfuckers. Like, don't fall for that shit, y'all. Don't be on TikTok and Facebook paying these people the bitches with the hangers and shit. Like, come on. <laughs> at least go to somebody face to face. Like, how can people read your vibe through an Why iPhone and you got to cash at them 10 times? Way. Get this nigga off set. My mind. 
My bad, go ahead. No, you're done, Phelps. <laughs> you're fucking done. We was talking about spam niggas anyway. Yeah, because people fall for it, and it's the holidays. And I want y'all to stop DMing me. My next, hold on, one more. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is crazy. This like I don't even gotta read them. It's probably like three or four from today alone. It's the holidays. Can you please send us some money, bitch? I don't Yo. believe in Santa Claus, motherfucker. Hey. I don't celebrate Christmas. Like we not about to do this shit. Like you bitches, you if you falling for that pressure of Christmas of buying your kids a bunch of bullshit, that's on you, bitch. I don't, I like I'm 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 not stupid like that. You, if you can't afford it, don't you need not to play around with it. That's how we got here. Y'all need that money. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, like, why, like, come on. Listen, you feel me? Down on your knees, begging, please. I don't have it. You got Squeeze. to call Mr. Nate. It's a bind. You're in a bind. I ain't the one that get you out, baby. And yes. I don't know if y'all contacting me because you think I'm in the, in the, um, like in the spirit or is it you really need help with these gifts? But my advice is make sure you got your rent on January 1st. Fuck the 25th. Yep. The motherfuckers bad as shit. They report card shitty anyway. If you got any sense, get the report card and you got excuse not to buy this nigga nothing. And Clarence unless you got putting a good in kid. overtime at Comcast, fixing them cable boxes. I mean, get jingle the bells. Get that hole up. Jingle the bells. That's you feel it. me? I'm in a bind, Nate. I'm in a bind, Nate. I mean, they're going to remember... Being in the house freezing because the heat don't work mm. versus not getting a gift. Y'all don't know how many women I literally know that struggle with the first month. Like the January is rough because of what they do for Christmas. They go out of. And the craziest thing about Christmas I noticed these last five, ten years, it's all for social media. Everybody got matching pajamas on. The Christmas tree is real grand. The gifts are real grand. They don't even be in a relationship. Everybody take these pictures. But it's like, are y'all even having fun? Like the pancakes not even burnt. What the fuck is going on? I mean, these say you go on Amazon, you can get a lot of gifts for like 50 bucks and under. I don't know. I'm talking Respect. about the girls that go crazy as far as like. She's talking about the presentation. The designer stuff mm. and the PlayStations and Ribbons each kid the get this and you getting them. The, um, you know, the things with the monologue with your names on it and the, the, the bell. The, uh, <laughs> Do they at least take credit or they get a credit to Santa? It's 50 50 from what I say. I ain't going to lie. That's one thing my brother this was one, like, I'm not giving Santa credit. Yeah. For my hard work, no, like yeah. yeah, this one killed me. That right there, oh my god! <laughs> Just bought a PS Five. My son's face lit up, baby. This for my man. Go ask your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's rough. That is rough. That's um, rough. I ain't going front. I do fall into like for spoiling my kids and shit. Like they don't really want for nothing. But I ain't doing that shit on no little sucker shit. Y'all suckers fall up for that. That shit ain't nothing but an ass game. It starts around fucking September. They put putting it in the commercials, putting it in this. The kids want cute cut the smush. This is why I don't want to be a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I like Christmas trees. <laughs> I never said I was Muslim. I never said it. <laughs> I like Halloween. You going to hell, you little fucker. Yeah, Swish, do your uh, own shit. <laughs> I hate Swish a little bit. Let's just wrap it up on that note because he's so disrespectful. Yo. I'll see y'all next week. I like y'all a little bit. Bye.